A moment of gratitude and partnership and a warning to Russia. The U.S. is stepping up its support for war-torn Ukraine. In its first trip abroad since Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine just over 300 days ago, the president arrived in Washington in what has now become his signature uniform of war. The president of Ukraine. <laughs> The president was warmly received by the U.S. Congress and told lawmakers that the American aid goes beyond Ukraine. Thank you for both financial packages you have already provided us with and the ones you may be willing to decide on. Your money is not charity. It's an investment in the global security and democracy that we handle in the most responsible way. The goal of Zelensky's trip was clear, to cement the need for and receive more support to get through the winter, as well as more weapons and military aid to win the war. The U.S. is Ukraine's biggest supporter, and President Biden announced a $1.85 billion aid package, including a Patriot defense missile system. We also know that Putin has no intention, no intention of stopping this cruel war. And the United States is committed to ensuring that the brave Ukrainian people can continue, continue to defend their country against Russian aggressions as long as it takes. Meanwhile, the message from the Kremlin is that Russia will do whatever it takes to win. President Vladimir Putin said his forces will fulfill the tasks set out in what he calls his special military operation to secure all of its territories. Washington has been increasing the amount and types of weapons to Kyiv, but has refrained from sending long-range missiles that could be used to strike deep inside Russia. Zelensky expressed his gratitude, but made it clear that his country will need more in order to overcome the enemy. In an emotional gesture, as lawmakers are set to debate additional funding to Ukraine, Zelensky gifted Congress a battle flag signed by Ukrainian soldiers.